thank you for returning to listen to the ninth episode of the Fragile Mind series, Divergence, presented by Broken Arts Entertainment. No soliciting. I don't mean to be rude, but we are in no solicitation neighborhood. We're not selling anything. Please leave. Are you Doug Stapleton? Do you have a warrant? No, we're not the... <clears throat> we're not the police. Who are you? Doug, it's me. It's Jenny. Go the fuck away. I don't know who you are. Why are you here? It's me, Doug. Sweetheart, I swear it's Jenny. Go away. It's Jenny. It's me. I swear. I I know I look different, but I promise it's me. It can't be. Can we talk for a second? Just a second. I have nothing to talk about. Let me convince you that I'm her. That's impossible. I buried my wife nearly a year ago. I put her in a coffin. I lowered her into the fucking ground, and I buried her. I buried her the rest of my life. Doug, can we talk? Just a few questions and then we'll be no. out of your hair. Wait! Don't go! Uh, you, you have two older, very protective brothers. I saved your life. When I saved your life, I also gave you a unique gift. I'm listening. The gift... It was something special, something you can never lose. What was the gift? Um, well... She's dead. She died. She died in a car accident. I was too late. I couldn't save her. Sam couldn't save her. Copen didn't know. We thought we were invincible. She took out a battalion of the UOD. But just like her mom, she died in a car crash. It's impossible that you are her. Open the door. No. Please. Open the door, Doug. No. No, I can't. Doug McKenzie. Your real name is Doug McKenzie. Stapleton is... An alias that we came up with. Everything all right? My head hurts so bad. Can I come in? Okay. Sit. Tracy, what are you- Ah! No! What are you doing, Tracy? Instruction required. Thank God Reuben was such a softy, right? Why? Don't move. He's gonna be fine. Who are you? <laughs> I'm nobody. I have one of these. Take care of the pain for you while we wait. No thanks. I'm pretty sure anything you give me isn't good for me. Doesn't matter to me. Tracy, why'd you shoot me? You were in the way. Sit on the couch. No. What, what do you want with me? You? I want you to shut up. There is clearly some mistake. She's not Jenny. Obviously well rehearsed, even somewhat believable. But she's not my wife. I don't really care. Look, she could be Mother Teresa for all I care. You, on the other hand, you are a very high value target. She's of no consequence. You get me into retirement, Doug McKenzie. Wow. Me? How? Hold on. Let me read your profile for you. No. I know who I am. I just don't understand. We had a... We had a deal. Who did? Me and your boss. That's who. Do you know who your boss is? Enlighten me. <laughs> She's a doozy. But the deal was that I would leave them alone if they left me alone, especially after Jenny died. Doug. So, I'm not sure how this all got messed up, but she shouldn't be here. 
You two definitely shouldn't be here. Whoever is coming- Doug, why? You aren't Jenny Stapleton. You sure as hell aren't Stephanie. You're an imposter that has been very well trained. Released too soon to find me. I'm sorry. I really am. But you've been brainwashed and you're currently under some kind of something. You know what? I have orders. I follow those orders. No more words. Tracy, think this through. Shut up. You're such a sorry excuse for a Retza. What? You care about the subjects. You care about too much. Come on, be a decent human here. You said you were gonna die. Seems like a logical outcome here. We've been through a lot together. Ah, spare me the bullshit. I have no loyalty to you. You've been weak ever since we met. <sighs> Don't call them subjects. She's a real person. Well, fuck that. She's a subject. And when you don't get close to the subject, guess what? It makes it easier to just follow the damn orders. Which is what I'm doing. Could be any minute now. Doug. <laughs> Doug, I, I know more. Let me prove it to you. Listen, Tammy or whatever. No more talking, okay? I'm supposed to keep you two alive. I'd hate to have to kill you and explain that you wouldn't shut up. Okay. Just go along with it. No one can hear me. Just you. Stay calm. Don't talk. Why are you looking at her like that? Are you talking <sighs> to her? It says here in your profile that you might be a telepath, in addition to having exceptional strength. <laughs> it says that. Well, if this was the real Jenny Stapleton, she'd tell you that there's no way that I was a telepath. I'm just trying to put the pieces together here, and I feel bad for her. Don't we all? <laughs> Shut the fuck up! <coughs> Jesus, Tracy! Please, stop! You're next. It's Jason. Doors unlocked, Jason. He wouldn't shut up. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm here now. You can stand down. Do you recognize him? Blink once for yes. Blink twice for no. It's okay. This will all be over soon. Anyone else coming, or is it just us? No one else. How long has he been like that? Retza? Just before you arrived. Okay. We should wait until he comes to before we start moving. We may need him. For what? Who knows? These two can be tricky, right? You two are quite the team. I was able to subdue them all by myself. I'm pretty sure the two of us can handle them. We can leave Retza for the cleanup crew. Who else did you contact? Jason, I followed the security protocol to a T. I filed a sit rep with the main office. I provided GPS location as well as the time of arrival. It's all in the report you saw. Oh yeah, great job with that. Thank you. I think I'm gonna take it from here. Your services are no longer needed. <clears throat> we need to make her disappear. Is there anywhere in this house that we can put her for a while? Jason, fuck, what's going on? Things have changed a little. Sorry, Tracy, not trying to hurt you, but... Oh! I was told you were dead! I never believed it, just, just so you know, I, I never believed it, not for one second. But I really have you back, don't I? Oh my god, I can't believe I have you back. So you're a good guy? I think so. Who knows who's good or bad anymore in our world. I just want to do what's right. We have to move her to a spot in the house that will take some time to find. I've got the place. Can you do the honors? Yes, of course. I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere, okay? Okay. Doug, we don't have a lot of time. We need to be out of here in the next five minutes or less. Okay. Yeah, I've got it. I'll be right back. What the... Hey, 
buddy. I hope you're glad to see me. Uh, what, what are you doing here? I'm not sure yet, but I uh, knew there was trouble when I got your message and where you were heading, so I hopped on the first Elite. Tr Tracy probably, um... Fuck! My head is pounding. Yeah, nothing I can do about that. Uh, Tracy did call it in, so I expect the cavalry to arrive in just a couple of minutes. Can you walk? No! But soon. Give... Uh, give me a few minutes. I'll try. What about you? How are you holding up? Sorry, uh, uh, what? How are you doing? I've seen you before. But your name isn't Jason. Uh, yes, th that's true. You might remember me as Ted, right? No. How do I know you? I'm just like Tracy and Ruben here. I'm your lead handler at the Rejuvenation Center. No. <laughs> you see, I, I don't have any memory at all of the Rejuvenation Center, or Ruben, or Tracy for that matter, but I, I do remember you. Oh yeah, uh, that's right. Uh, I forgot that Ruben reset you back to Jenny, right? I guess. I, I have no idea. Look at your shoulder. That's a memory blocker and loader. When I installed it, you were semi-conscious at the time. Insisted on remaining awake. Refused to close your eyes. Which was fine. Yeah, that's probably how you know me. When you were Jenny, you met me. No, I, that's not it. I, there's something else. Something familiar, but I can't... I, I don't know. You know what? We can chat about this at the safe house. All set. Good. Ruben, you ready to move? I think so. <clears throat> we are about a five-minute walk to the Elite. Everything okay? Yeah. Everything's okay. We should go. Thank you for listening to the ninth episode of the Fragile Mind series, featuring Gwyneth Fraser. Cole Zubak, Nathan Roach, Dana Hall, and Adam Ferguson. Written, directed, and produced by Joe Swenson. Please join us for episode 10, Safe House. <laughs>